This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I've had it since its release and I've been making a lot of content based on this device. And I'm also working on my long-term review. If you notice on the channel right now, I have not put up any review of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I really wanna put it to its test, use it for a really long time and give you guys my long-term full dedicated review on this. But in today's video, I just wanna talk about why the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is actually a really good upgrade. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Now, when you take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it looks very familiar to its predecessor, the S22 Ultra, but Samsung made improvements and focused on departments where it was needed. I think that improvements are more user focused rather than drastic design changes. Now for me, especially the biggest upgrade has been the battery life. So this is day two of me using the phone. Uh, I did not charge this phone last night or this morning. Um, I just briefly put it uh, on my wireless charger in the car. That was it. I didn't really plug it in charge afterwards, but let's go to settings. Look, it's at 25%, uh, 2.06 PM. So if we go to battery and device care, we're gonna go to battery. Then we're gonna go to view details. Seven hours and 33 minutes. That is really good. Seven hours and 33 minutes of screen on time. It's day two and I still have 25% left. So technically I can use this until I go to bed and it still will last me. I absolutely love this battery on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It still retains the same 5,000 milliamp hour battery that's found the same size that's found in the S22 Ultra, but with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy, the optimization with One UI 5.1. This has just been really snappy and smooth. And it kind of spoiled me because I don't know if I can switch to another device that doesn't have the battery life of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So Samsung, good job in the battery department. Look, this is easily a two day phone for me. This is my second day and I'm still using it. I'm not putting it in charge. It performs much better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which for me has also had a decline in battery life when compared to its predecessor, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And this also performs better in battery life uh, when compared to the Pixel 7 Pro that I also use as my daily driver before the S23 Ultra. Seven hours of screen on time, that's just seven hours and 30 minutes going on to eight hours of screen on time. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to push towards eight, nine hours of screen on time for this. So for me, especially battery life has been the biggest upgrade. Uh, and that's why I wanna talk about Samsung making the improvements in the right departments. Like look at it, it's a phone that looks very familiar to last year's phone. And that's fine, that is completely fine. I don't think we need an upgrade every single year, drastic design, chain just make some small refinements which samsung went ahead and did uh their design changes uh they're subtle but i think they're still good and much needed improvements the sides right here for example they're more squared off less even less of a curve on the display itself which i gotta say display is impressive gorgeous gets really bright outdoors absolutely love watching youtube content on this and i love my latest wallpaper pack, Nebula, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below if you wanna take a look. Uh, my favorite wallpaper so far. Uh, but squared off, easier to hold in the hand, much better grip. I love this squared off look. And also the camera does you know, get an upgrade with 200 megapixel hardware and also some you know, camera rings that make it look more aesthetically pleasing. And I do like this uh, this green color is a little bit different. It's not darker like last year's, but I still really like it. And this is this is their flagship color for the S23 Ultra. Uh, we still have the S Pen, so that's a huge plus, and I've been using it to kind of jot down notes uh, if I need to buy something at the grocery market. Um, if I need to sign something, then I will be using the S Pen. So it's good to have that there. Uh, but other than that, like design-wise, Samsung uh, kept it almost the same, but made improvements in the needed areas. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, more user and focused and you know, 
for software and things like the battery life and also the camera performance, which I'll be uh, briefly um, diving into in a little bit. But the next big upgrade is the performance and the optimization. There's a new liquid cooling vapor chamber and the phone for me, like in my use, has never gotten warm to the touch at all. The only exception I'll give is when I was setting up the device, it got briefly warm. But other than that, I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, I, I play, I've been playing more Call of Duty on this device than any other uh, main device that I was using before because it's that good. It makes me want to open up Call of Duty uh, every single time and play it. Even sometimes play Pokemon Go. Uh, but Call of Duty has been really great on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. With this device and its little brothers, S23 and 23 Plus, we're getting four years of Android updates and five years of security updates. So this came out with Android 13, we're getting Android 14, 15, 16, and Android 17. One UI 5.1 has become very fluid and just take a look. It's personally now one of my favorite uh, custom OEM skins. OnePlus used to have Oxygen OS, which they still do, but it was more stock Android back in the day. I still like it, just not as much as I do One UI, I just like it. And I've been using Samsung since the days of TouchWiz with the Samsung Galaxy S Blaze T-Mobile exclusive. Those, that was actually one of my favorite phones too, maybe because it was a first um, Android device for me, but, or a smartphone in general. That was my first smartphone I was using. I really come to love TouchWiz UI at one point, but it was like a love-hate relationship. I liked it, then I hated it, I liked it again. It was just all over the place. But One UI, I've generally, I've become really fond of just the style and everything about it. Uh, it's definitely toned down. There isn't a lot of bloatware anymore. In fact, I don't really come across any type of extra bloatware, any extra gimmicks features Samsung used to throw in like with the Galaxy S4 and Galaxy S5, for example. Uh, but also to clear things up, everything here is one UI other than this widget right here, which is the Google Clock app widget that you get with the app. And also I'm using the stock app icon and it just um, works with the color palette of my wallpaper. That's the thing with Android 13 and One UI has integrated that as well. So I'm not using any custom app icons or anything like that. Maybe in the future, if you guys wanna see some sort of custom, uh, what's on my Galaxy S23 Ultra, like a custom make of it, then I will. I do plan on making a what's on my Galaxy S23 Ultra video anyway for those who want to see what I use on my phone. Uh, but yeah, performance optimization, it's been very fast and fluid. I have the 12 gig RAM and 512 gig storage model. I did pre-order it, so I got an extra storage upgrade at no extra cost. That's huge plus, and I do think uh, 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs is the sweet spot. In fact, 256 gigs would be enough for most. At this point, 120, I'd, I would prefer to kind of slowly start to move on from that in the next year or two. It's gonna really add up quickly. And for me, it was adding up quickly already. So I'm glad that I, I quickly went from 256 to a 512 gig. So Samsung, good job making 256 gigs uh, your base for the Ultra lineup. I briefly said I was gonna talk about camera and here it is, the 200 megapixel camera on here, uh, up from the 108 megapixel camera, the main camera uh, from its predecessor. It really intrigues me because the detail is better than ever. Now, when you do go into camera mode, uh, it's in stock 12 megapixel. However, you can change that and you can get a 50 megapixel mode as well as a 200 megapixel mode. You go to 200 megapixels and typically the photos you want to take, they're already still shots because there still is a shutter lag. So let's take a photo of this ghost energy can. And by the way, if you haven't checked out ghost, definitely check them out. But here I go. It's going to take a quick second. Like it's not that quick. Let's go to photos and it is going to uh, take a second or two to process. And there it is. Like it is, has some really good detail. Even when I'm kind of zooming in on the actual ghost and the T right there, it really has some good detail, but it also does have a 50 megapixel mode as well as just its normal three by four, 12 megapixel mode for those quick snappy uh, shots. Now, not only that, but I love the 100X zoom. Like, I mean, I'm in my studio, so I can't really show you 100X, but um, just taking a look, let's go to 3X right there. 
Then let's go to 10x. And by the time I get to 100x, like I'm way into, like I'm the focus of the can is too, too close to me. So anyway, 100x is going to be pretty uh, far in. But it works when you're like taking a photo or even a video of something that's super far away. 100x really does get the job done. And it's usable. That's the thing. You can have 100x zoom, but if it's not usable, what's the point? With this, it's different. But all in all, like the camera has gotten me to take more photos. Uh, for those who are subscribed to Jelly, you know, like I'm not pulling out my phone all the time taking photos. It's just like just my nature. I'm not too intrigued of taking lots of photos. If I see something really good that really I want to remember uh, as and keep as a memory, then I will take a photo of it. But other than that, like I'm not using it uh, on a daily basis or even, you know, every other day, whatever it is. Uh, that also becomes uh, my lifestyle too, maybe because I'm always, you know, inside um, doing homework and other things and uh, making videos. So I kind of understand, hopefully uh, that does change. Uh, but this, in fact, has gotten me to take more photos because I just like the quality of it and if you're a camera guy and you're looking for really good camera quality this is it now just to wrap things up we didn't get any like huge design changes i mean look at it it looks very familiar i mean if you put this next to s22 ultra uh, i myself i at this point i can tell the difference because i've used both devices but for someone who hasn't used either device and you put both of them side by side compare them which one's which They'll have a hard time telling which one is the newer one, which one is the older one. So and that, that does make sense, but that's also fine. I don't think we need a new design every single year. Here it is. Like when you see this phone, you know you have a Samsung device. This is their identity. And I like it. I like it. Keep it up, Samsung. I just make refinements in the needed improvements. For me, it's more user-focused, battery life performance optimization, a faster phone. That's really what I look for. I can rock this device uh, for the next four years or this design of a device for the next three, four years. The display is already great. Just completely make it flat. Maybe if you want to put it under display camera, that's good quality. Let the technology improve and then put it. Maybe you want to add a larger fingerprint sensor. Maybe you want to add actual face ID under the display, whatever it is. Yeah, but just like generally keeping the same design, I'm pretty fine with because the battery life, it's, I'm coming back to the battery life, but it's just been really good on Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm just, just going to put it out there. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, I'm going to be working on my full review. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see more videos on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, I'm still working on other videos to compare with other devices as well. But if you did enjoy, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below. And best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.